Have you guys ever had a day when you just didn't want to get out of bed? <laughs> uh, that was me this morning. And uh, I'm not sure who drew the analogy first. It was some podcast I was listening to, but he talked about blue collar days, the days when you just need to get up and do the work even when you don't feel like it. So that's our topic of the day today. Um, so a few points that I want to bring out today is, first of all, you need to get up. <laughs> um, we all know how difficult it is to do this, especially if you're getting up extra early to spend time in prayer, to go to the gym, to do all of these things, these disciplines that we want to build into our lives. It's so natural for us to just want to do the bare minimum, to just do uh, roll out of bed just in time to pack your lunch, run off to work, and you're constantly just going through your day in a panic because you're behind. Uh, Zig Ziglar talked about how most people sleep at least 30 minutes longer than they should, and they're just constantly feeling like they're behind because they don't get up in time. So you need to get up on time. You need to get up when you've committed to get up. Don't hit snooze. Um, Proverbs 24, 33 to 34 talks about how people who hit the snooze button tend to be poor. So <laughs> don't hit that snooze button. Fight that temptation. Uh, we need to suit up. So we need to go to work, go to whatever our responsibilities are, and be prepared. We wouldn't walk into a boardroom at work wearing... Uh, sweatpants. In the same way, we need to go mentally prepared and, and just ready to face all the responsibilities of our day. And if that means waking up earlier to get in the right headspace, that is all the more reason to get up on time. Um, we need to show up. So no calling in sick when you're not sick. That is lying. No showing up late. That is stealing from your employer. Uh, <laughs> This is becoming a pattern in people's lives. And I really think that that's something that we need to fight against because we need to be uh, the next level. Otherwise, we, we won't be able to lead anyone else if we just do the bare minimum. Um, and you should be the most positive person in your workplace. So none of this... Uh, just showing up late and complaining. You should show up with a great attitude and uh, really set that pace and that example. Um, Bible talks about how a merry heart does good like a medicine. You don't want to be that person that no one wants to ask how you're doing because they don't want to hear your answer. Uh, I'm not saying be totally fake, but you should be as positive as you can be in your workplace. Try to put a positive spin even on your negative circumstances. And then grow up. Uh, <laughs> originally, I had this as shut up. <laughs> and then I thought it sounded a little harsh. So we all know uh, immature people that will commit to more than they can deliver. They will say that they're going to do grand things and then they never deliver on that. We need to grow up and actually deliver on our commitments. We need to do what we said we were going to do. We need to fulfill the things that we've committed to do. So that means we sometimes have to sacrifice things that might make us more comfortable or we might enjoy more. It doesn't matter. Grow up and deliver on the things that you said that you're going to do. Uh, don't claim goal, uh, don't claim results that you haven't proven yet. So it talks about that in Proverbs as well in chapter 14, verse 23. If you're, uh, if you're in Proverbs, it's a great one a day. Even if you're not a person of faith, I would highly recommend you read Proverbs. Uh, Dave Ramsey talks about how you get a master's degree in finance just because, uh, you read Proverbs. So. We live in a culture where everyone wants everything instantly. We live in a microwave culture where people think that they can get results immediately. And when I see people quit on their goals, when I see people uh, give up, when they falter or they fail, 
it's a lot of the time because they didn't achieve those instantaneous results. And you have to know that it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert. It takes a lot of time grinding to become good at anything. If you want to up your, your physical body, if you're trying to get out of debt, if you're trying to have financial freedom, if you're trying to become the leader that you want and need to be in your family, if you're uh, trying to be a leader in your community, any of these things, they take time. They take a lot of effort. Don't be impatient and don't allow yourself to be discouraged when you don't see results immediately. Um, and don't sabotage yourself by slacking off. So many times when we don't see results, uh, we go to the gym and we don't hit that goal weight. Well, who cares? You're still going to the gym. Uh, that's part of the reason why I've changed how I form some of my goals. I used to have a set weight that I was aiming for, but I was like, why? If I'm healthy, if I'm building muscle and my cardiovascular fitness and all those things, if they're improving, why do I have to be a certain weight? So instead of setting my goal for a certain weight, I set a goal for a distance that I want to run, an amount that I want to bench press. Great. And because my focus is on those things instead of just some vain thing, which is a body weight, um... I've been able to achieve more because my focus is different. Uh, today I uh, did leg press, it was leg day, which is brutal. It's really hard to do leg day on a blue collar day. <laughs> uh, but we showed up and we threw that weight around and I, I had leg pressed 400 pounds today and that's like the highest I've ever done. So you can do it, just show up, just put in the time, put in the effort. Um, and when we don't get, uh, so caught up in the short term, it helps us to be focused, to be intentional in all areas of our lives, and to be creative and to become that leader that we want and need to be. So that focus is uh, really starting to track those goals, which is why I talked about having a visual tracker for tracking your goals, because we need to actually pay attention to these things if we're going to achieve them. We need to be intentional. So uh, there's this quote that goes around, and I didn't know until I listened to the audiobook Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah, I listened to the whole thing in my car. It took a long time. Uh, Not all who wander are lost. That's a quote from that book. Well, guess what? The people that it was speaking to were on a mission. Like, yeah, they might not have known exactly how to get there, but they were going to throw that ring into Mordor. And uh, why, <laughs> why do we allow ourselves to just wander through life? We need to have a mission. We might not know exactly how to get there, but we need to intentionally focus on going in the right direction every day. Uh, and being creative. So those of you who think that you can't... Oh yeah, I have another slide. That's, uh, that's the results you get when you have a microwave mentality. Uh, so for those of you who think that you can't have extra income to throw towards your debt, you need to become creative. Uh, I started side hustle business and uh, working on the weekends and stuff like that as we were focusing on debt, and it's been actually really hard to quit those things now. Uh, but... In allowing myself to be creative and to find ways that weren't going to interfere with the rest of my life, I was able to have those extra jobs. So I work early in the morning on the weekends so that I don't have to sacrifice time with my wife. I don't have to sacrifice time at church. I get up extra early to put in those hours to earn that extra income. And right now it's going towards uh, the emergency fund, which is awesome to see that start to build up because we have so many goals to reach after that is funded. Uh, and then it helps us to become a leader when we're focused like this. Uh, leaders embrace difficulty. They embrace challenge. And that takes practice. So as you embrace the small challenges, like just being disciplined in your day-to-day -day life, that helps you to become the leader that you need to be. So hope this was helpful. God bless. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to put up links to other videos. Have a good one.